Good morning guys, it is Sunday here in Thailand and today we are visiting Bang Pei waterfall as you see here right behind me it's a waterfall just about 45 minutes on the scooter north of Phuket I think it's one of the greatest in the area but it is Sunday there's a lot of people here so we'll see how much privacy we can actually get it's 200 baht per person to enter the place so for a relatively small fee you can have a, a really cozy day out so this is the entrance to the Bang Pei waterfall To get to the waterfall, there's about 10 minutes hike. Uh, the terrain is pretty easy, so young and old should be suitable for everyone. So we reached the end of the hike, and as you can see behind me, we got Bantao waterfall. There's not a lot of water right now, so it's not as impressive as uh, it was last time I was here. You can also see all the people that are here. Very, very popular today, so definitely takes a little bit out of the nature experience. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hang around for a while, maybe get in the water. It's just really a lot of people right now. What do you say? Do you feel like getting in the water? Maybe. It's too many people? I think we have to. We have to get in the water, yeah. Refreshing. Yeah. It's a lot of people here now, huh? Okay, so walking back from the waterfall, that was, that was good fun. Uh, jumping in the water, diving, got the GoPro in. I was very tempted to put up the drone just to get some cool uh, shot from the air, but uh, I don't have the balls to do that yet. There's too many branches and things hanging from the trees. Walking back from the waterfall, we had a lot of fun with some locals jumping in the water. <laughs> so before we go home, we're just going to check out the Gibbon Rehabilitation Project. Wow. So if you've ever been on the beach in Thailand, Phuket, Pattaya, Wherever you might go, you always see these uh, usually young girls walk around with these gibbon monkeys and uh, they hand it out to people. So you get this little monkey and it looks really cute, big eyes. But what you don't know is that it's really drugged up. It gives them so many sedatives to be able to be around human beings. So this place is, is for those monkeys that have been rescued from that captivity. And they're really cute. So there we got a gibbon monkey. Let's walk in and see the real deal. What do you say? Let's go. Yeah. This is the thing I was talking about. Young bar girls walking around with the monkeys, offering them to tourists. That little fella is heavily trucked up just to be able to be in that environment. I think it's hard for you guys to see, but we have a, a monkey up there, the youngest one of them all. I tried to release this one into the wild six times, but it kept coming back because it's used to human food. So it knows it gets fed uh, normal food here and not what they would get in nature. Look at all these bamboos, it looks crazy. Whew. So apparently when these monkeys are in the entertainment business. They're not very old. 
uh, but when they reach the age of six, seven or eight, they develop more animalistic instincts and they become much harder to control and that's when some people have had trouble with them, like uh, they bite them or uh, other sort of accidents and then they hand these monkeys in to the, to the police and then the police will, will come here and give them uh, a new place, a new home and then hopefully with time, through the years, they can be released back into nature. Got one up there. Woo! <laughs> really a good cause uh, to raise the awareness of situations like this and every time you choose to tip these people walking around with monkeys or other sorts of drugged up animals you're supporting this whole business of captured animals ladies and gentlemen we are rounding off Bang Pai waterfall <laughs> suitable for young and old probably best in weekdays if you want to avoid yeah. a lot of people here it's very popular but it mostly locals which is kind of cool. So if, if you want to have some fun with the locals, then yeah, then it's... Sunday yeah. it is. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a... Comment. A like or... Subscribe. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> it's our bread and butter. It's our bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's our bread and butter, guys. If you like to travel and training, then it's your lucky day. Because that's all the stuff that we do every single week and we do everything we can to bring all the best stuff to you guys so stay subscribed and we'll see you in the next one